So for the assignment, word art student, let's see what the assignment says. Previously, you wrote one word to describe yourself as a student. Today, we're going to take all the words from all your classmates and work, make word art out of it. If you are absent, pause the video and keep going. So let's go first. Step one, let's go to wordart.com. And we need to sign up. Sign up with Google. Choose your name. And continue. Create new word art. It's either going to be red here or green somewhere else. Just click on create new word art. Great. Now let's go back to the assignment in Google Classroom. So there's a document here. So click on the document and don't select the first few words. Starting with narcoleptic all the way down. Right click copy or control C to copy. I don't care how you do it. Right click copy or control C to copy all that text. Go back to the word art tab. Click on import and control V as in Victor to paste. So paste all of those words there. Don't worry about the stuff at the bottom now. Just it paste all the words there. Click on import words. Nothing happens. By the way, nine of you said hardworking is a way you would describe yourself. Seven people said quiet. Five people said respectful. So let's see what this looks like as a word cloud. So I'm going to click on visualize. And it came up as a nice cloud. Technically, we could be done. But let's play around with it and make it a little better. So that was getting the words. Now let's bump down to this section called shapes. So right now it looks like a cloud. I can click a heart. And then nothing happens until I click that red visualize button. Now, anything that's solid is where letters when words would appear, but anything that's not solid, like has a hole in it, like this heart, there won't be words there. So just be careful on the shapes. One more thing about word art. The more times a word is used, the larger it is on the screen. Again, the more time a word is used, the larger it is on the screen. So we can go through the shapes. I'm going to go down to the section called school. And just for curiosity, I want to see what this looks like. So I'm going to click Visualize. So again, remember these are words you chose about yourself that you think describe you as a student. Interesting. I kind of like it. It's got different colors. I think I'm going to leave it. Now, if you prefer a different one, that's fine. I'm going to go down to Fonts. I can choose a different font. Doesn't matter which one I pick. No, but things like this without a little curly cues on them make it really hard to read. So try not to get something that's too curly cuey and cute. Layout. Some people like the words left horizontal. I kind of like this random thing. I'll show you what it looks like. And again, depending on how much work it's taking to get there, it might take a little longer. So again, I like the kind of randomness, but that's just me. Play around with those if you want to change the style. Um, you can change the word colors as well. You don't have to. I'm going to go with custom, just something that I like. So if I don't want this orange on here, I can click on this. I can click on that color to make it go away if I want, because we're talking school here. If I want more purpley colors, I can add more colors to the palette. Again, you don't have to do any of this right now. It's just more fun, makes it a little more interesting. Again, I might consider maybe like a black. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to click close. And again, nothing happens usually until I hit visualize. So once you've played around with it, and it's as awesome as you want, we're going to go to download. And download it as a standard JPEG. So download, download as a standard JPEG. I'm on my PC, but on a Chromebook. Back to Google Classroom, you go add or create. Instead of doing from drive, go to file. So go to file. And you want to look in your, so the blue browse button, and you're going to want to look in your downloads. So mine's a little different than yours, but you're going to want to look in your downloads. And when you're done, go ahead and turn it in. I didn't go over it previously, but you could rename it up here. So like your last name and then student, just so if you ever come back to this again, you can always say, see things differently. So I'm going to save it.